Welcome back to the first Prior Crier of 2023. The holidays and break really flew by, and not to mention we are beginning the second semester. I know, it's like we're already through January, and it feels like the school year's over. Oh my gosh, and then I have to go to college, and I'll be graduating in a few hey, months. And calm down. It's okay. Just take a deep breath. Sorry, there's just so many things happening all at once, and everyone won't leave me alone about college, and I still can't make a decision. Well, you have so many different options not only going to college. There are so many different jobs out there to pursue that involve special skills and training that many students don't think about. In this story, we will meet with students and alumni who are involved in these types of careers. Lily Donabauer has the story. We live in a time where students are bombarded with information pertaining to college. However, there are many careers and trades that many of our alumni and students are pursuing. Alumni Ian Caudill operates his own pest control company. He says his favorite part about his job is the fact that it allows him to do for others. I actually went and got a bachelor's in counseling psychology before I found this field. Uh, I find a lot more enjoyment um, being the guy who can come out and help someone remove a yellow jacket nest or, or deal with a, a raccoon issue. It's a field that I ended up enjoying after I had some experience. Senior Dawson Hinton is currently working on his Eagle Scout project, building a shelter house at the Centerburg Conservation Club. During his time attending the Knox County Career Center, he has learned construction skills and is using them to get an early start on his future career. Over the summer, I had started my own business called Hinton Hardwood Sawmill. I bought a sawmill and it was one of something I just got into as a hobby. I plan to uh, go to college, pursue a career in uh, construction management, whether it be heavy highway or civil engineering. I also plan to grow my business with that. Another former student, Michael Johnson, works as an apprentice elevator mechanic. He says that this line of work is a great option for anyone who is mechanically minded, but it is a very tough job. I think the best field you can get into, the benefits and pay is amazing. Um, right now we're working like 600 and some feet up in the air. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of things that could dismember people. It's just very dangerous. It's what I enjoy, so I couldn't, I couldn't sit in an office for 40 hours a week. Learning a trade and following that career path can be a great option for anyone. For Prior Crier, I'm Lily Donabauer. If I'm honest, I've never really considered my options outside of college, but it's nice to know about them. Definitely. I'm going to keep them in mind as I'm going into my senior year. That's a great idea. Well, recently, the girls' basketball team has begun work to get more people involved in the game. That's right. They have begun traveling to the elementary school to help out the elementary school girls' teams learn, and it sounds like they've been having a lot of fun. Logan Costa has a story. The high school girls' basketball team is taking on a new challenge, coaching. On Thursdays, the players work with their elementary counterparts teaching technique and other skills to the players who range from 6 to 11 in age. Junior basketball player Kennedy Glenn says the team began helping out in December as a way to get younger kids excited about the game, and this experience has provided a new challenge. And just like try to invite kids to love basketball, learn about it, and just hopefully grow into our program. It's definitely harder to work with little kids, but I think that coaching and like teaching helps you to learn better um, for yourself. One of the elementary players is second grader Aubrey Bidwell. She enjoys learning new skills from older girls, especially Glenn. Kennedy, because she is better at basketball, I dribble and shoot baskets. They help me get better and now I'm really good at basketball. High school girls basketball coach Bo Glenn says that he believes this experience is teaching the older girls valuable life lessons. And why I coach is to try to uh, build young ladies and to become great young women. They're going to have to learn how to communicate. They're going to have to learn how to practice plan, organize, uh, all those skills that uh, yeah come with basketball but just life in general. Whether in first or twelfth grade, it seems there is always more to learn and ways to have fun when playing the game of basketball. For Prior Crier, I'm Logan Costa. It's nice to see kids at such a young age enjoying the game. It is, and honestly they're just so adorable. I know. Well, I think that about does it for Prior Crier. Before you go, don't forget to purchase your copy of the Trojan Crier for one dollar tomorrow. You can read more about alumni careers, the no new Knox Community Hospital facility, the Wellness Center, and much more. Well, for Cryer Cryer, I'm Maddie Donabauer. And I'm Emily Fletcher. And, and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.